Hey everyone, my name is Sanishan Jain and today I'll be starting this new series in which we'll be creating Android version of Discord right from scratch with full functionality. If that's something which interests you, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any part of the series. By the way, this is going to be the intro video where we'll talk about how we are going to develop this app and we'll also set up our project so that we can immediately start developing the app in the next video. Okay, now this is what I have planned. Uh, we will be using Jetpack Compose libraries for developing the UI as there will be a lot of custom elements that we'll need to develop. Then we will be using the MVVM architecture pattern along with Dagger Hilt for dependency injection. Uh, for the backend, we are going to use either Google's Firebase or MongoDB or maybe both. I'm still looking for which would suit our requirements best and also doesn't get too complex. I'll acknowledge you on it later in the series. Now for the functionalities, we're going to include authentication, making friends, setting profile, sending push notifications, chatting with people, sending all kinds of messages, images, videos, audios, or any sort of file, creating custom emotes with custom emoji keyboard, and a lot more cool stuff. So with all that hype built, let's set up our project, shall we? Okay, start by booting up your Android Studio. Select Jetpack Compose Material Design 2 for this one. I'll call this one that called YouTube and finish. Now that we have the project initialized, let's start by adding in all the necessary dependencies we are going to need for this project. You can copy all of these from the description down below. We will be using Compose and the Kotlin compiler version 1.4.3. Also make sure to change the Kotlin plugins version to 1.8.10. Now follow along and add in all these packages as I do here for this is going to help us maintain our code base as well as keep it easy for scaling as we progress through this series. For now, those are all the packages we need. Let's edit the colors file and add in all these color codes which Discord uses. Right now, I'm only focusing on the dark theme. We'll tackle the light theme later when we have all the settings in place. Since we are using Material 2 for this project, we'll also need to edit our colors and themes XML files to add in the background color as the status bar color.
I'll also get rid of the boilerplate code we have in the main activity. And that's pretty much it for this video. We'll start developing the UI in the next video, so keep your excitement intact. Until next time, keep coding, keep creating.